Hello miners, Rusty coming at you. Today we're going to take a look at a Rough Rider saw cut bone deer slayer. I believe this is model number RR524. So what are we looking at here? Well, we've got saw cut bone, which is brown. And on the transitions here, part of what I like about this series is how the transitions turn out. Sometimes we get some honeys in there, ambers, and sometimes almost get a purple right there. Uh, we've got, tra the transitions are good, the pins are done well. I also really like the bolsters. These are fluted bolsters, and they're just done. They make the knife look high-end to me. So let's take a peek. Looks like the brass liners. There's really no gap each here. Okay. Now here we go again. A little flaw maybe. But yeah, these transitions are nice. The saw cut, the colors. Got some oranges. I don't even know what color to call this. Your bolster. And we'll take a peek again. Yeah, such just a very, very, not even a hairline right there of a separation. So, um, clasp knife. So I like to think of them as you can just grab a hold of them. You do have a nail nick. We'll take a peek at that. Match strike poles. Now, I did buy this one used off of eBay, and it feels like it has the original edge on it. Let's see how we can do here. If it doesn't, however, somebody did a nice job of sharpening it either way. But what I've got I'd love to polish this. I think they rubbed it, you know, kept on wiping it, and they got, somehow just got this discoloration on the blade right there, which doesn't come through when you're bidding on them. You know, I can take a picture of this, and uh, you won't notice that. So, but either way, still a good-looking knife. I may be able to polish that out. Uh, might try something called flits, but we don't want to get rid of this. And I sure wish it had the anvil, but it doesn't. It does have the horseshoe tang stamp and rough rider spelled R I D E R. And she's a big knife. So we got it. I got large size hands. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got an inch and a half or two sticking out the other side there. So we'll bring this guy out. The rat with a 3.6 inch blade. So how are we doing? Try to line them up here. Yeah, we have got just slightly over a half an inch if I had to estimate uh, of blade length sitting on top and man almost an inch on the bottom here so let's take a peek oh, let's look at this there's your tank stamp try to line them up this way so you guys can see blade stock and all that. The rat's going to have a little thicker blade stock, but then we'll, let's bring the tip out here. Okay. And then flat grind versus flat grind. And the deer slayers got a little taller blade to it. So yeah, let's check out the action on this. Ooh, boy, that's a, that's a strong break right there. So, and a little bit of a muck there. Anyways, 
we're going to go ahead and end this one. And thank you guys for joining the miner. Oh, I'm going to have a comparison video with all my clasp knives.